So the latest Thor Love and Thunder trailer has dropped giving us a closer look at the characters and I'm going to be comparing it with the upcoming Bandai Tamashii Nations SH figure arts releases as well as discuss the figures already released in the 112 scale. So the latest Phase 4 MCU movie will be getting two releases in June, Thor and Jane Foster aka Mighty Thor and we have seen the promo images already so we can now compare it and see how much it resembles from the movie trailer. And the first thing you may notice is Thor will not have the helmet. As of now, we don't know the final product, but it seems as though Thor will have, like the previous SH figure arts, the following trend of a standard head as well as the light up eyes. And for Mighty Thor, however, they will have the helmet version as well as the alternate head sculpt, which is the Jane Froster look. And this simply means we won't be able to create certain poses like this, but we will be able to get this look. Of course, the figures will include plenty of lightning effects, alternate hands, the weapons, so it's still going to get a lot of good poses out of these two. And in Thor's case, I believe his final battle or majority of the film, he won't be wearing the helmet anyways. And now we can discuss the 112 scale figures, Hasbro Marvel Legends, who produce most of the characters for their MCU movies. And they've given us a whole set of characters to build Korg. And what I like about this is all six figures in the wave are related to the movie. So unlike other characters where you have to pick up comic versions, you need six of them to build the build a figure piece. So we will get a four in his new look with the helmet, but you won't get the armor version. They also released the Ravager 4, technically if you have this figure you can maybe swap the heads although the hairstyle is different. Then we get Mighty 4 like the SH figure arts version will have two head sculpts as well as King Valkyrie, Star Lord and Groot. And the character I'm looking forward to the most, Gore, was also released. And here's another look at Korg, once built with the six figures excluding four. So you have eight figures in total for this movie. So if you're looking for a large selection of course choose the Hasbro Marvel Legends. I will still look to pick up the SA figure arts as I'm collecting that line for the MCU. Uh, maybe I'll add one or two Hasbro characters since I don't think Bandai will be making all of them. I do however want to see a God or God Richer in SH figure arts form as in the trailer we saw a more frightening look more than the Hasbro version. And who knows if we'll see other alternate versions of the characters. So June is the release date for the SH figure arts just in time before the movie is released. And what are your thoughts on the SA figure arts editions? And who would you like to see them announce next? Or maybe we'll just stick to the Hasbro versions. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.